Hello, this is immigration attorney Curtis Morrison, who's putting together the Reuniting Families lawsuit. This video is a tutorial for the sign-up form for that lawsuit, okay? It's a pretty simple form. There are only three pages, but let me go over it and make sure we get everything right. Um, the first page, we want two things. We want your email address. That way, we can send you the onboarding form. Um, it's ideal to just use one email address when you're communicating with us as a law firm because we use that to track who you are, okay? Um, the second thing it asks for is petitioner name. The petitioner for a family-based visa is the U.S. citizen or green card holder in the United States or at least the U.S. citizen or the green card holder, okay? That is the petitioner name. Um, and then, so you enter those two things on that first page, and then after that, you click Next. On the next page, it asks who the primary beneficiary's name is. Um, who the, prim the relationship of the primary beneficiary is different depending on the kind of petition, because sometimes petitioners petition their spouses, sometimes they petition um, their children, sometimes they petition their parents, and sometimes they petition um, their, their siblings, brothers and sisters. So the primary beneficiary's name is from the I-130, who they petitioned, who's the primary one, okay? That's the, the main visa applicant. So you just enter that primary name there, okay? just one name, and you enter the name the way you have it on the immigration forms. Don't try to change your name here and use a different name, not a good idea. Okay, and then you click next, and on the next page it says enter beneficiary derivatives name here, okay? So this is where you don't enter the petitioner's name, you don't enter the beneficiary's name because you've already entered those, but you enter any derivatives. Now, if you don't have spouse or children, if you're the beneficiary and you don't have spouse or children, you don't have anything to do on this page and you can just click submit. If you have a uh, spouse or children that are part of your application as a, uh, as a visa applicant and these are your derivatives, you need to enter their names here. You need to spell their names as they are spelled on the immigration forms. This is very important because we won't have time later to go back and fix this, okay? Um, we're filing this case very quickly. So um, after you enter all those names, you click Submit. And then it says Reuniting Family Sign Up Form. Thank you for your interest. Um, you will receive our onboarding email within 36 hours. We do those in batches. Um, we don't, ex um, so, so, so do not expect one um, immediately after you do this form. Um, we do a batch, at least one batch a day, sometimes every 12 hours, something like that. It, do not do the form over and over and over again. That does not help. That actually slows us down, okay? Once you do it once and you get this web, this page that says you'll receive one within 36 hours, you will, okay? So thank you so much. Um, happy form submitting, and I hope that you're able to participate in the case and we can move forward and get you here, get your family reunited before January 1st. Thanks.